2,000 years later. Hey y'all, it's your girl Kiari and I am back. <sighs> I know that I have been gone for too long. Um, not to make this intro hella long or anything, but I just really needed time for myself and to get my priorities in check, in line, and I just need the time. But that doesn't mean that I have not been thrifting since I've been gone. And I'm actually at a thrift store now. My homegirl and I are at a Goodwill. Um, today is Saturday, so they're having like a 75% off on green tags. So we're going to see what we can find. Now, we'll see if it actually has something good uh, that is tagged green. Because usually when they have tag sales, the stuff be whack anyway. But I'm going to still try it out because 75% off, I mean, you really can't go wrong and there is the goodwill we're here early it opens at nine so in a couple minutes so we about to go in there in a second so this is my homegirl danielle she's coming thrifty with me so hopefully we find some good stuff hopefully so look at her looking cute. Oh, let me go like this. Look at her. Okay, okay, with the yellow. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we're like only a few, there's only like a few people in here, which is good. That's why we wanted to come when they opened. Ooh, I like that. I like that. See me, I always love earth tones. Oh, the lighting sucks in here. Oh, here we go. I like that. So I got my basket. As you can see, because baskets, baskets are usually like the first thing to go when there's a sale. So, uh, oh, found a Stussy shirt. Let's see, I'm trying to find stuff just for some looks for the summer, but also to resell too on my shop. But don't forget, Thrift Vibes, Decop Shop. I'm gonna put it in the description box below. I found this really dope Ed Hardy shirt. Let me zoom out, let me see, oh. I'm already kind of zoomed out, but here is this Ed Hardy shirt. Now, I know this is like hella early 2000s, but I've been seeing like a lot of early 2000 brands or ones that were popping in that era, like um, Juicy as well. Juicy Couture, Von Dutch, those type of brands. I've been seeing them kind of come back a little bit. Of course, you know Baby Fat just came out. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I love Chick-fil-A, you know I do. Say it again, you never had Chick-fil-A before? I've never had Chick-fil-A So guess what, I have a confession too. My first time eating Chick-fil-A was this year. So, I don't know, it's fire. Was it worth the Yeah, it's worth it. Because at first I'm like, it's hype. And why do I want just a chicken sandwich? That's before like I started getting more right. conscious about my eating. Like, I don't feel like waiting in this line for a chicken sandwich. Right. No, it's really good. And their lemonade, I love lemonade. So their lemonade is hella good too, so. I like the fries. Now, this is the thing about the fries. And comment down below in, <laughs> in the comments how you feel about fries, the Chick-fil-A fries, and what are your favorite fries? Because Chick-fil-A fries are only good to me they are only good when you actually, when they're actually hot. That looks similar, I don't know if you've been seeing like, like they'll have like a casual shirt, like a satin skirt and the sneakers, like, and that green is, I can, hmm, I think he can do something with that. So I only ended up getting two items and none of them were green tags, but I spent like eight bucks on the, um, for both shirts, so I really did like them. So we are at store number two, Edgar and James, which um, if you don't know, it is also a store by Goodwill, but it's more curated pieces. Um, I usually don't see a big difference between regular Goodwill stores and Edgar and Jane's unless it's like home goods and stuff like that. But So hopefully we find some stuff with green tags. I'm already seeing now there is no, I'm already seeing now there is no green tags. It's all orange and stuff. You see any green tags yet? No. No, exactly. <laughs> so we're going to see if we find some green tags. So, so 
I didn't really find too many things, but I did find this dress here. It's not on sale, so I think I might still get it because I really like the way it fits on me and it's really comfy. Like, I really like how comfy it is. And I feel like I could wear, like, some shoes, like some tennis shoes with these. Like, I don't have to dress this up. But I could dress it up if I wanted to. So, I think I like this. Yeah. I think I'm going to get it. We'll see. So, before we jump into the try-on, I did add a couple extra pieces that I did pick up separately from my trip to thrift. And I just felt like I wanted to show a little bit more pieces just because that trip to the thrift and that Goodwill sale was hella whack. So, I did want to show y'all some other pieces that I did pick up that I've been loving a lot lately. And so, as I've already showed you all, it is this blue, cobalt blue dress such a pretty color um and i liked it for one the way it fit i liked the neckline how that was designed simply because it gives me like a 90s vibe i love that it's like a shift dress so it's airy and flowy next is the ed hardy tee and i don't care that it's ed hardy i used to wear ed hardy back in the day and so um now that I like a lot of like early 2000s brands are starting to come back and things like that when I saw this print and the design and that it was tie-dye and it's oversized I just really really liked it a lot um, and then it says Ed Hardy right here on the back um, next are these Calvin Klein jeans that I did pick up it wasn't for a sale but I've just been looking for you know brands that I know that will fit me and Calvin Klein Calvin Klein, excuse me, Calvin Klein jeans usually fit me pretty well. Now jumping into some new items that I did pick up from the thrift um, recently is this like sports um, sports top here. It has a jersey material, but it has a bunch of NBA teams from back in the day. Excuse me, y'all. Yeah. Eventually. Now, again, this is like an old school basketball type of jersey vibe, jersey material um, by Hardwood Classics. And I really like this. I actually found this at Buffalo Exchange and they had it like in their like costume section. <sighs> Damn. Uh. And then it just has more of the teams on the back, so I really like this. Next is these um, Adidas like track pants, and my boyfriend actually got these for me, and I just love the way they fit. They hug me really well, and um, I just like this color. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I haven't seen any Adidas like branded things with this color like it looks blue but it looks purple and y'all know i don't really care for purple like that unless i'm repping my lakers but i do like that it has zippers in the calf area so i can see a vibe going with that as well and yeah um i don't know how much she paid for them but i like them so thanks babe oh i forgot to show this one here this shirt very simple and sweet this Ralph Lauren v-neck t-shirt again found this it had to have been under five bucks and it wasn't a sale item either but you can't go wrong now back to some new items that I picked up I found these really cute black um, Joe's jeans shorts and so you know it's summertime you know a hot girl summer <laughs> Um, and you know I just been looking for some really cute shorts and I found these at the thrift these were four dollars now um, this next item is a denim jacket and I've been looking for in black denim jacket for a while um, I just just want one you know a black denim jacket is a staple you should everyone should have one but I found this one here in particular and what stood out to me because it is a FUBU black denim jacket and I found this at Buffalo Exchange and I did pay 20 I think like $27 for this if I can remember and so you know me unless it's like a brand I love or it's just an item I just can't put down 
I will spend the money. And I love the construction of it. It still gives me that, you know, late 90s, early 2000s vibe. And you know, with all of these old school brands coming back, back and re-emerging back into the scene, um, FUBU is just always gonna be a brand that I appreciate just because what it represents and what it stands for. And so, I do have a couple FUBU pieces that I've, you know, started to recollect. And so I do plan to find more. Um, and same with like baby fat and all that good stuff. Um, and my mom actually found me this Levi's like medium wash jacket here. I know I'm not really showing it that well, but that's why we do a try on. And um, yeah, you can go wrong with a Levi's jacket, but I haven't seen one look like this. It has like a, a Western vibe. I, I, I really can't explain it. Like a, not a Western vibe, like, I can't explain it. But the, 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 the cut of it, I really like a lot. Just like, I like the back here and I like that it's medium wash. And so I don't know how much she paid for it, but she did find this for me. And yeah, I do like it a lot. And then lastly, um, are some slides that I found. Now, I did not find these slides at a thrift store. I actually found them at Burlington. Some of you may not know, and some of you may know, stores like TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, and even Burlington be having stuff in there. If you look, excuse me, be having, they have stuff in there, okay? You just have to look and consistently check back with them. And so, you know, Fila has came back, you know, within the past year or two, and I found these rubber slides, and they're actually not as comfortable as like my Nike slides or even like Adidas slides, but these are pretty cool. Um, but they but they are currently on my Depop shop if you want to snag them before I change my mind. And I have not worn these, so these have not been touched with my feet or with anybody's feet. So that's all the items that I wanted to show you all. Again, thank y'all for rocking with me as long as you all have. Um, so far, I'm thinking about um, dropping twice a month bi-weekly since I am still in grad school, but I will be graduating in May 2020, so uh, I cannot wait. Follow my Instagram, again, in the description box below and somewhere here on the screen. Go on ahead and follow me on my Instagram so you'll be notified as well when I will be posting and what content I have coming for y'all. So love y'all. Thanks. Bye.